Thousands impacted by flooding and storms in late March. Now, as recovery resources pour in, many families are also worried about the future. Today, we met with a homeowner who experienced severe damage in the March storm. She tells our News Channel 5 Cena Slim that the most recent flood was worse for her than 2010. This is the damage from flooding. Someone's barn from over on the other side of the creek has washed down into the creek, damming it up. Of course, you can see all the debris that it's catching. That flooding happened nearly two months ago. I've contacted everybody I know that I can contact, and the barn is still here. As you can see, it's been here six weeks now. Macquarie Creek runs through Vicki Cawthorn's backyard on Truxton Court and often washes up random items. Trash cans, bicycles, swing sets, patio furniture, anything you can think of that might have been outside in your yard went into the creek. She says her house has flooded five times. These brick oak blocks is where the barn was sitting on top of those, and it picked it up, moved it that far. We used to something like this would happen and we were able to clean up, redo, you know, remodel, whatever. And but now, I mean, we're getting at the age where we can't do this anymore. We just can't. But now she needs some help. I think the city needs to come check this out, buy this land up something. But if you come here, you can see where it's damming up the water. She's reached out to the council members in her area, but tells us she hasn't gotten any assistance yet. I don't know what else to do. Move. I guess I could do that, but <laughs> who wants to buy a house that floods? At this point, Vicki tries to chuckle about it here and there. And mind you, there were two motorcycles in there and they, they're ruined, I uh, imagine, but they didn't fall. <laughs> it's a miracle. But she knows it's a problem that needs to be addressed soon. Cena Sleem. I can't believe my house is flooded five times already. News Channel 5. Cawthorn isn't the only one experiencing frequent flooding. New data suggests the number of flood prone properties in Tennessee is actually more than 278% higher than previously estimated.